Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Body Elements, an RPG Maker horror game where you go on a quest to build the perfect body. Body Elements. Okay, looks like we are in a cell of some kind. Yoko. There's a lot of cells, but we were able to just freely leave, so... Are we a true prisoner or not? We'll see. Well... Obtain key to block C. This changed fairly fast. Hmm. Looks like someone's no longer well-armed. Or well... well-bodied, period. Yeah. Statue. There's something inside. Both have something inside. Well, let me head out of here. So we were in C blocks, A blocks are this way. All these are locked, but there's something here. Wood plank? So there's a lot of body parts. What's this? The following people are extremely dangerous. So someone in every cell block, essentially. So, and we were wondering, we were in C4. So B1, D1, and D4. I'm assuming these are all locked until we get a key. Okay. Well, at least they still have their lower region, so they won't be doing anything half-assed. I'll just be doing everything, uh, half in general. Wood plank. Another wood plank. Hmm. This is weird. I am no closer to realizing what I'm doing or why I'm here in life. There's a torso. Oh, obtain torso. Never mind, we need that torso. That was a very important torso. More wood planks. There's the names again. Tanaki, serial killer, killed three police officers without using without a weapon during investigation. Yoko, serial killer, killed more than 30 people and dismembered them. Quite an amount of body parts are found in her apartment. Hmm. Masako. Robbery and murder. Successfully got away with 30 million from the bank, yen probably. He ran with a speed of more than 40 kilometers. Mommy. Cyber criminal. Stole confidential information from the security department. I like how the last one is a little different than the others. The other ones are all like violent or extreme. And this one's just like, yeah, I just hacked the security. Yeah, I I'm super dangerous. I, I, I hack. I'll, I'll hack you. Lots of heads. Hey, what the what with this arm? Is that a good arm? Statue, there's something inside. Oh god, it's such a bizarre game. Wood flank. Let me look at that again. It's it's such a sight. Like, is it real? Is it symbolic? Who knows? Why, why are we clicking so many wood planks? Oh god. A card on- oh thanks, free card. 
statue, something inside. What? It's one of these. I had it there. It's a little weird because... Okay. Seems you like watermelons. Good for you. But look, here's a watermelon. It, we saw the watermelon puzzle. We got the green card. This all makes sense. Key to block B. We're very particular. I'm not sure what body parts we're looking for. So here's another red room. Is this a nod to something? Like it's inspired? Because each red room has been a little weird and kind of... I can't tell if it's symbolic or what. Okay. I see what's going on here. Let's go straight ahead. Huh. Let's see, we have the wood planks. We have red key card, green key card. Key to block B. Well, none of these parts are useful to me. What's this? Needle and thread. Well, with this, we can put some back together. I think. Now, they, when they mention the killers, we are the ones who December people. I'm saying that correctly. Key to block D. So, like, did we do this? Because our cell was already unlocked. Hey, look, there's a person. So happy. Kill people. So happy. Well, you know, I I'm glad someone's happy in their life. Getting out of here, it's a piece of cake. Are you the, the lead hacker? <laughs> rope. Free rope. Oh, man. Well, at least some prisoners are still alive. I don't know what happened to all the other ones, but... Did we look at the other cells? Not really. Like, those look like they're melting. That person's just a half the man they used to be. Okay. They are falling apart. They have no feet. Hey, look, free plank. That's... This is the definition of bodies hit the floor. Well, we have all the key cards. With some Neil and Fred and some other stuff. So we can go into here. Red, green, yellow. Thank you, mysterious red rooms, for the samurai sword. Now we can cut people. What are these? Can I break these? Metal fittings. All right, let's find every single one of those things. Matt toll. Matt toll fittings. With these. Yeah, no, I think it's only you can only cut those for the time being. We can try them on living things later. Now what? Harvesting people. Oh, oh no. Oh no. 
Apparently you had nice legs and I wanted them. Hey. Apparently I need your head. Well, I'll be heading out of here now. Now, someone was alive around here. I think you were in the next room? No. You were in one of these rooms. Come out. Or stay there. That's fine, too. Thanks for the arms. Now I'm well armed. I guess you can say I'm armed to the teeth. Anyone else? Is anyone else alive in this area? No, everyone's dead. Literally, not like metaphorically. Check my rooms here. I think this is all cleared out. Yeah, I'm 100% sure we did all this. But it's like, when and how? So we have heads, leg, I mean legs, arms, torso, needle thread, rope, metal fittings, planks. Arrange head, arms, torso, and legs on the platform. So. Zone. Okay. Now what? It's all formed together. But we now we have the widow planks and the other stuff. Maybe that's to escape. Let's see. What are we doing here? Wooden frame constructed using wood planks and metal fittings. Uh-oh. Rope tied. Female prisoner from C4 hanged herself. She just used her clothes as a rope. So, th there's an inconsistency there. Um, because of the, uh, even the, the tool that she used. It, it's not consistent to what we got. So that kind of confirms that a lot of things we saw weren't actually happening. On the same day, we also found dead bodies of three other prisoners and one prison officer. The strange thing is, there are missing parts for all four bodies. They couldn't find those missing parts. And the missing parts were in an obvious spot. So, hmm. That's really a mystery. End. So that's it for body elements. Uh, this was a pretty bizarre game. And I, I don't mean in a bizarre as in it's super, super surreal or un ununderstandable. It's more bizarre in just how it's presenting itself. Because uh, we are playing what I assume is how we symbolize and visualize the world. So a lot of the events aren't happening literally, but they're kind of a vehicle. So our, our cell just wasn't magically open. Somehow we escaped, we took down some guards, we took out some other prisoners, and we put the guy, a body together. That's that's the official story. I'm assuming there wasn't a, a room with giant heads, symbolic things, and like samurai swords and stuff. That represents kind of how they visualize things and uh, go about their business. But like I said, it's, it's a bit bizarre. It's not scary, because there is no threat. You are the threat, really. But it's kind of unsettling. It's unsettling in a weird way. If this wasn't little pixelized things, it'd be a lot more unsettling, probably. The fact that it's so small and, like, RPG Maker-like is what's kind of blunting the blade, if you know what I mean. Perhaps intentionally. It was certainly a uh, unique RPG Maker horror game. I'll give it that. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play Body Elements. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.